Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 17th of March 1992, a referendum in South Africa resulted in white South Africans voting to end apartheid. The policy of apartheid, which literally translates as apartness, was introduced to South Africa in 1948. Although the region had experienced racial segregation under the rule of a white minority for centuries, the adoption of apartheid as a policy made it more systematic by separating people into one of four racial groups. Within the country, opposition to the policy led to the Sharpeville Massacre in 1960 and the Soweto Uprising of 1976. By the late 1980s, the government's policy had seen South Africa face severe criticism from the United Nations alongside international isolation that included an arms embargo and a wide-ranging cultural and sports boycott. Meanwhile, Leading anti-apartheid activist Nelson Mandela had been imprisoned since 1962. F. W. de Klerk of the Nationalist Party became president of South Africa after the resignation of his predecessor in 1989. In his address at the opening of Parliament the following February, de Klerk announced his intention to lift the ban on political parties, such as the African National Congress, and to release Nelson Mandela. This was followed by a series of negotiations between the government and the ANC that gradually lifted the laws of apartheid. In the face of hostility from the white Conservative Party, who began to defeat the National Party in by-elections, de Klerk called for a whites-only referendum to determine whether to continue his negotiations. 85% of the electorate turned out, of whom more than two-thirds voted in favour of de Klerk and the dismantling of apartheid. The country's first multiracial elections were held two years later, on the 27th of April, 1994.